hello, hello. Happy Thursday. I think we're set here. How is everyone? I hope that you're having a really great week. I'm finally getting back to normal, I think. Um, still going to bed early and getting up early. <laughs> but I'm getting the time a little bit better. So let me know when you're here. Um, tonight we are making a card using designer series paper as our base. So just something a little bit different. And I can't wait to share. Uh, is anybody here? I'm going to guess you're here. So I'm going to get us started. And leave me some messages as soon as you come on in. I'm going to hope that Facebook has found me by now. Oh, good. Hey, Debbie. Good, good. So I'm not alone. All right. Good to know. So this is the card that we're going to make. And I'm using the um, Bird Ballad uh, Designer Series paper. And I'm also using the Free as a Bird. So it's kind of the whole bundle. Hey, Jean. And I hope that you have picked up these, the Stitch Nested label. Uh, uh, yeah, Stitch Nested labels. Because truthfully, I use these all the time. They are just the coolest um, dies. I, I really, really like it. And I tend to use it a lot. So remember, it comes as a bundle with the Free as a Bird. If you haven't picked that up yet, it was one of the first ones I used out of this new catalog. So you may already have this one. Um, but if you haven't, oh my gosh, it's a great set. And you'll use it a lot over and over again. Yeah, Debbie, I love this one. It's really cute. And there's lots of ways that you can use it. Like this stamp set is really this, but we just stamped part of it and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so here's our sketch. And I tried to write a little bit more over here for you in case you have the sketch but don't remember what I talked about. You don't have to go back and look at the video. So first things first, we're gonna start with a piece of designer series paper that we have cut. 12 by five and a half. Now the one thing that you want to remember on this is you need to kind of pay attention to which way you're going to cut it. If I had cut it this way, the birds would be flying in kind of a weird shape and I might have to do something different with it. Now, just because I did the card vertically, if I had cut it the other way, I could make my card go horizontal instead and my birds would be okay. And clearly not all paper matters which way it is. This side wouldn't matter at all. All right? Okay. So five and a half by 12. If you happen to get the paper share in the six by 12, this is a great way to use that designer series paper. P.S. I will have a new paper share coming for the holiday catalog. And I'll get you the details on that soon because you're going to want to pick that up ASAP. And I'm also doing a cardstock share again. Now we did this before, is a great way to get all the colors. I do them in the eight and a half by 11 and you can choose how many packs you want. So each pack has one of every color. Um, again, more details are coming on that this weekend, but just wanted you to kind of keep that in the back of your mind. All right, so first things first, we have our card base and we're gonna grab our scoring tool. All right, now you have to kind of think which side do you want it to be on? Which do you want to be the inside? Which do you want to be the outside? In this particular case, I decided to use this side as my outside. Well because I want to be different, we're going to use, we're going to flip it the other way around. So this is my outside is going to go down here. And I'm going to score at, I have to read. <laughs> okay. You're going to score at four and a quarter, seven and nine and a half. All right. It's a little mathy and I have, I'm gonna flip it this way. What I need to end up is, I want this on the outside, so this is how my card's gonna look. I need to make sure that my, um, my birds are going the right way. So you kinda have to think about your birds for a minute. 
So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna do it at four. And if this comes out backwards, well, we'll go with pink on the outside. I'm, I think this is right. We're gonna go with four and a quarter, seven, and nine and a half. Nope, I think my birds are upside down right now. So we may be going with pink on the outside. Yeah, my birds are gonna be upside down because this is gonna go like this, right? So this is how your card is gonna fold, is like that. And my birds are upside down. But if I want my birds on the outside, maybe I can get it right. Oh, I can, I can, I can, I can. Birds are okay. Phew! This is not a good thing to try and figure out when you are still jet lagged. I don't know when this goes away. Maybe I can just blame everything on this for a really long time. Okay, so there's that. Then I have a piece of pool party and a piece, another piece of designer series paper. This is from the same bird ballad set, but it's just a different one. It's some of the keys on it. Just super cute. All right, and all I'm gonna do is just put this right on this. This is um, bring this over so you can see. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. Then I need a three and three quarters by five. And I also need one more of three and three quarters by five in Whisper White to go in the inside. All right. Now I could do it out of the pool party. It doesn't have to be white. It could be whatever you wanted. In fact, I might have a piece of pool party right here. Let's see if this is big enough. The scrap might work really well. So this is going to go on the inside and it's going to be three and three quarters by five. Nope, not going to work. Okay, so we're going to use white. You never know with those scraps. Sometimes they'll do, sometimes they won't. So here's our whisper white. And we're going to trim this to five. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Kathy, I'm not really sure where it goes. It's usually down in the lower left-hand corner, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so there's my whisper white. That's going to go on the inside right here. But we're going to hold off and put that down later, and I'll explain why. First things first, I'm going to glue this down with my snail. But before I attach it, I need to put my ribbon in, right? Good, Penny. So I'm going to do our ribbon around the pen trick. If you haven't seen this before, I, I do it often because I love it. So I just need my piece a little bit longer. I'm going to pick the middle. Around, oh, Adrian, we're getting all kinds of heat warnings for here. With the humidity, we were, um, one of the things that happened while I was away in Athens they had all kinds of heat warnings telling us if you had any medical conditions or problems with the heat, you shouldn't go on the tour. And I said, okay, fine. That means me. I'm not going. <laughs> and they said, oh, well, you have to stand in line for three hours in the sun. I said, yeah, nope, not for me. I'm okay. I'll see it from a distance. Thanks so much. I was a big wimp. But I'm not sorry. So, I tied, good job. So I tied it around our pen and made that loop, right? A minute, I just need to get you to stay where I want you right here, okay? And then I glue this to the back. It just needs to stay for a minute till we get it attached to our cardstock. That's what I heard. Oh, crazy. Certainly a hot summer after kind of a weird spring around here. But 
but I was in the pool today and it was really nice. Oh, get down. Get down. Sit right there. Okay. Get that on. Can you see that okay? And then I'm going to take my, my scissors and I'm just going to cut that. And so then when I open it, I have this super cute, nice, even little bow. Right? Ready to go. All right, that's the front of my card. But we're going to do a little more to it, right? We are going to use our nested stitched labels to create that. But in the meantime, we are going to put this right on here. Now I made sure, you want to make sure that it's even all the way around there. And you kind of line it up with the fold that's right here. All right. So the easiest way to do that is to put your adhesive over here. And then line this up. And remember I said we're going to hold on that white? Well, I'm going to show you why. You want to make sure that this is even top and bottom here and here, these two spaces, and pop it on down. So now your card looks cute. You're going to open this up. Now, it depends on who this card's going to. If you need to write a note to someone, then I would leave this open. If you don't, then I would close it. So it just makes it a little bit more stable because the designer series paper is a little bit lighter than your whisper white. And then this is my inside piece that matches the size of that outside piece. So I'm gonna glue, get some adhesive going, a little snail here. And then, this is the tricky part, but you don't, you want it to be hiding underneath this so when the card's closed, it looks neat. So I'm gonna line this up like so. And I'm gonna close my card. And then when I come on this side, the white is right where I want it, right underneath that piece, okay? So card looks cool. Now we're ready to start decorating it. We've actually created our design. And what's nice about this is you get to see both sides of the designer series paper, the inside and the out. I'm gonna take a little scrap and a this, this stitched label. through and you're wondering oh don't you want to stamp it first I don't because I want this to kind of go off the edge you could do it both ways but I think this worked easier for me to get the look that I wanted so there's that and I need my mat because I'm on my counter. I don't necessarily need the mat for the stamps because this is the, the cling mount. But I'm, I don't have my, um, my little mat, mat down today. So I'm just going to flip over my directions and put it underneath. And I'm going to ink this up with my memento. So I'm kind of going to kind of get an idea of where I want this. Now, I, I did it a little bit crooked, not perfectly straight. It kind of depends on what you're thinking. And ink this guy up. And then pop this down, making sure the birds are all on. All right. And then I'm going to grab the thank you, and that's going to go right here. And then while the ink is out, I'm also going to ink inside my card. And this is my sentiment on the inside. Your friendship means the world to me. All right, so now let's put that aside and this aside, and now we're going to decorate this. 
And I, on my supply list for you, I just said the Mango Medley. Um, how about Mango Melody? <laughs> it's a lot of music things tonight. So, but I also brought in Old Olive because I wanted to do just a little bit of the green. You don't have to, but I start with the light and I start with the thicker, more brush end of the blends. And I'm just going to color in my birds. And I didn't do anything fancy with them. I just colored in Again, I can't talk in color, apparently. And then I hit the flowers, too. Now, you could do different colors if you wanted. But I, if you don't have a ton of blends yet, you can just do... You'll be okay with even just one or two colors. And then now I grab the darker one and I'm going to let the the artist that created the stamp direct me on where to put my darker color. So wherever the shading is on the stamp is where I'm going to go with the dark color. So I don't even really have to think. Just let the artist do it for me. And then once I put that down, then I usually come back with the light and go over it just a little bit to kind of blend them in a little better. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to go with the lighter Old Olive. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong end. And this is a great stamp set because there's not a lot of big surfaces to color. It's just little little pieces here and there. I'm going to come in with the dark too and do the same thing. Use the stamp set as my guide. And I'm just going to... Now, most trees are not green. They're brown. But if you don't have another marker... You can just go right over this, and it still looks fine. Doesn't have to be green. And then, because these are so tiny, I am gonna use the tiny end of the dark one. And I just want a little bit. just to add a little bit of color and variety to my leaves. All right. Birds good. Now, some dimensionals on the back. Oh, if you missed the other day when I was talking about some of the cool new things that are coming in the new catalog, the holiday catalog, which honestly, it's not till September. I don't want to wish the summer away, but think Halloween. We now have black dimensionals. So you're not going to have to worry about the white poking out on the side when you're doing your Halloween tricks. So you're thinking, well, they don't look black to me. Well, look what they look like. They are black dimensionals. Right? Super cool. So that's in the new catalog. But see, you really don't want to use it in the white because it does show through. So now I have it on the back of this and I really don't want it, but I wanted you to see it. <laughs> Black dimensionals are going to be really great when you're doing different 
projects. Now, when you line this up, you're going to want to kind of look at the color behind it if you use this paper that I did, and you want to make sure that the leaf kind of picks up wherever you have that and you can kind of move this up and down a little till you get it the way you want it. Oh, you have to pull the things off the dimensionals. Goodness, I pulled the black one, but not these guys. Wondered why it wasn't sticking. It was sliding all over. Okay. So tuck you in there. Tuck, tuck, tuck. there right really cute really different i think i'm liking them so you get two different looks depending on which side of your paper you have out first and if you think about what you could do with other designer series paper you know it doesn't have to be the same Uh, I will pick our share winners. <laughs> I will pick our share winners um, tomorrow. So thank you for sharing. And you will get a card kit in the mail, which means everything pre-cut for you and to make this card. Now, I, clearly, I can't stamp on it for you. You're going to have to stamp and color. But you will get a kit to make this card. Or... I will have two winners this week. One will get a kit from Monday's card and one will get a kit from tonight. You have one more day to join the Christmas card club. Remember to do that. It's really pretty easy. You have to place a $50 order and then I will send you everything you need to make the cards. If you're not sure what's in it and what we're doing, that's the host code that you're gonna to wanna to use. But you're also going to want to go to caramiller.com, click on Classroom, and when you get to Classroom, you'll see my really pretty Believe wreath, and that's the classroom that's talking about the Christmas ones. So check that out. You've got tomorrow to make that final decision, and then we're going to make 10 cards each month, one in June, one in July, no, not in June at all, one in July, one in August, and one in September. All right, everybody, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you soon. Stay cool. Bye.